everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo. In this video here is just a follow-up to this morning's video talking about Samsung One UI 3.0 and Samsung One UI 3.1 with Task Changer finally working. Samsung updating Task Changer inside of GoodLock, which is now inside of Home Up. Now it seems as if there's a lot of issues. Some people have maybe older phones who updated into Samsung One UI 3.0 and maybe it doesn't work. Now I did not run into any of those issues. Any phone that I've had, uh, Task Changer works on every every single one that I own. So it states here that I guess some people are running into this text that pops up that states, please download the latest One UI home market update. And this person states that they have One UI 3.0. So today's video, I'm gonna show you the steps you can take to have this work on your phone. But I do want to cover just one little comment that's up here. And, and the thing about this is that, you know, it's, <laughs> I, I pretty much do all I can. And if I have a phone where every single phone and every single thing I'm doing, it works, there's really nothing for me to really test out bugs or find any issues or anything like that. So this person right here was stating that they love the channel, they're a fan, but they're stating that my videos are informative, but they're incomplete. Um, basically stating that a lot of these phones that are version 3.0 in the United States, task changer option is not working. And again, I'm here in the United States with every single one of my phones working. So there's really nothing I can do to really kind of test any shortcomings. So down here, it states that in the video, it's misinforming people that we really want it to work. It works for you, but for many, no. Please make a video with legitimate information next time. Task changer does not work with One UI 3.0. So to the contrary, again, all my, all my phones do work. And if I had a phone where it actually had an issue, then I'd be able to test it and find the problem. So because of my wonderful community here, you know, on Jimmy's promo, all of you guys writing comments stating that it doesn't work. Also a lot of people writing how you can make it work for people stating that my information is incorrect. Here we go. Here is the follow up video. Just had to wait for my little toddler to go to bed, take a nap so then I can shoot this video for you. So in order to make this work, just head inside of your Google search bar and search for one UI home latest version. So really you just needed the latest version of Samsung One UI home. So this is where you head to this website here that is the apkmirror.com and then you simply tap on that little link. Then what you'll do is you'll scroll down and you're gonna to look to wherever it says versions. So as you go down to all of the versions, this is the latest version right here, the 1210115. So when you tap on this one here, it might pop up with an ad. If it does, just hit on X, then it takes you back to the screen here. As you scroll on down, you're gonna scroll just a little bit more. And then this is where you see the option right there for the variant of that 12101015, blah, blah, blah. So once you tap on this option here, uh, now you just scroll down one more time. And this is where you see the option for download APK. Now, once you uh, hit that option, it's gonna state that, you know, this type could harm your device, which it usually never does. So you just hit on okay. So now that it's downloaded, you go back up to the top, you click there, uh, you make sure you go through the settings. So in this way it can allow Chrome or internet or whomever you're using to get this one downloaded. So this way you can install it. Now, once you hit on install, it's going to install, but it might not work properly with this phone here just because this is already the version that I have. Um, so there we go. It does state that the app is installed, which really just probably just replaced what I already had. Um, so now uh, one of the cool things that you can also do that I found as to kind of be, I guess, a hidden feature is if you go through the settings of the task changer and you have the option for you can have the uh, home up or the uh, task changer being active on top of wherever your Samsung Pay is. The cool thing is instead of you having to swipe up to get into your recent apps, you would just simply be able to do a little press and hold. And when you do a press and hold, it's gonna pop up your recent applications. It's actually pretty cool. So that's gonna be this option uh, that's right here, allow gestures in pay region of home screen. So you can notice that if I just do a simple press and hold right here, it's not gonna work. Press and hold over here, it's not gonna work press and hold right up in the center, boom, it pulls up uh, the recent application. So sometimes some people might forget about that, but that's kind of sometimes where that home button would have been. So this is how you're able to get it to work. Hopefully this has helped you guys out. And again, you know, if it seems like I'm not giving you all of the information, it's because I've given you all the information that I have. If I run into a situation where I run into no problems, then there is no problem 
for me to try to find a solution for. That is why I love you guys writing your comments. Again, anytime that you run into something that is not working, that is working, maybe you have it working on a different phone, whatever the case may be, maybe if you in fact do find the solution, again, write the comments below the video inside of the description because that's exactly where I found this solution here was someone was able to write a comment and then I was able to basically take what they wrote and pin it at the top of that video as a pinned comment just because their comment was within another comment so I wasn't able to pin theirs but I hope this has helped you guys out again just update to that latest Samsung One UI home uh, again all the steps was right there you literally just search for this go inside of the APK mirror and you just go for the latest version that you see and then once you find that latest version you just go through the screens you tap on it you hit on and uh, download and install and then you should be good to go so again I hope this video has helped you guys out if it did please give this thing a huge thumbs up don't forget to hit subscribe subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side and if you like this video then more than likely you'll also like this video and I'll see you guys later